What are the most durable automobiles now on the road? This is the question one would be asked before making a new car purchase. How long will it last and how reliable is it over time? According to a study conducted some time ago by a specialized company, out of 260 million cars sold between 2012 and 2023, the percentage of vehicle strength and durability was calculated after driving about 250.000 miles. Honda or Toyota both produce 11 of the top 20 cars. The top 10 trucks and SUVs are all body on frame vehicles. The Toyota Sequoia and Toyota Tundra are two examples of recently modified automobiles. Ford F350 Super Duty, for individuals who favor the strength of work cars. The Ford F350, a stalwart of Super Duty models, comes in six trim levels, XL, XLT, Lariat, King Ranch, Platinum, and Limited. It possesses a large structure, a hallmark of the Super Duty line, and a broad front end decorated with a full chrome front bumper. Front trailer hitch and a black front grille are included as standard equipment. The vehicle has 17-inch alloy wheels and is available with both rear wheel and all-wheel drive. Two engines, a 6.2-liter V8 gasoline engine with 385 horsepower and a 6.7-liter V8 turbodiesel engine. In terms of maximum rear load capacity, 3.5 tons, and towing capability, 9.5 tons, the Ford F350 is the top Super Duty variant. Probability of enduring 250.000 miles, 49.1%. Toyota Land Cruiser The Land Cruiser was introduced in August 1951 as the Toyota BJ, a four-wheel drive car with a strong engine. Since then, it has worked to provide a variety of consumers and other persons that interact with the car with safety and security. The Land Cruiser has helped people live longer, more satisfying lives throughout the world. Customers in 170 nations and regions throughout the world are devoted to a cumulative total of over 10.6 million units. The conventional ladder structure is redesigned for the new Land Cruiser. The high rigidity, lightweight frame, which is 20% more rigid than the 200 series, offers enhanced performance in terms of crash safety, quietness. Due to these advancements, the body weight has been reduced by about 200 kilograms, resulting in a lower center of gravity and better front to rear weight distribution. The new Land Cruiser offers a ride that is more in line with the driver's aims along with an improved driving position. Probability of enduring 250.000 miles, 47.9%. Toyota Thundra. Though it also deviates slightly from the domestic pickup truck standard, it doesn't alter the big pickup status quo. The base version of the engine, a twin turbocharged V6, has 348 or 379 horsepower, while the more potent hybridized version generates 437 horsepower. Every Tundra has a 10-speed automatic transmission and may be driven with the rear or the four wheels. In comparison to its domestic competitors, the 2023 Tundra starts more expensive. A coil spring rear suspension and a 379 horsepower twin turbo V6 are among the more appealing standard features of the Toyota's base SR grade. The non-hybrid limited test vehicle reached 60 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds. The hybrid model reduced the duration from 0 to 60 miles per hour to only 5.7 seconds. The Tundra's maximum towing capacity, which is somewhat less than that of most full-size pickups, is 12,000 pounds. Again, the Ford's maximum payload is 3,250 pounds, but a number of competing half-ton pickups can carry more weight in their cargo beds. Probability of enduring 250.000 miles, 47.9%. Toyota Sequoia, founded on the Tundra pickup truck's basis, the Toyota Sequoia has always been a three-row SUV. Compared to the second-generation Sequoia, which has been around for more than 10 years, the new model is far more contemporary. With a 3.4-liter V6 engine and an electric motor for a combined 437 horsepower, the Tundra's iForce Max hybrid powertrain is standard. The Sequoia SUV also features the same 10-speed automatic transmission as the Tundra. Four-wheel drive is optional on most models but standard on the off-road Focus TRD Pro model. Rear-wheel drive is the norm. The Sequoia capstone with four-wheel drive reached 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds and completed a quarter mile in 14.3 seconds at 94 miles per hour. Due to its hybrid configuration, 
The new Sequoia is considerably more effective than the outgoing model. Models with rear-wheel drive have EPA ratings of 21 miles per gallon in the city, 24 miles per gallon on the highway, and 22 miles per gallon overall. The interior trims come in a variety of trim levels and range from fabric to leather upholstery as well as variable degrees of wood and chrome trim as you move up the pricing scale. Probability of enduring 250.000 miles, 47.1%. Ford F250 Super Duty, Ford has improved the new 2023 F250 Super Duty's power, efficiency, and durability. In-house power generation with Pro Power on board, a new 6.8 liters gasoline engine, a new high output 6.7 liters power stroke diesel V8, and the Ford Pro suite of software services are all available. The first pickup truck in the US to have incorporated 5G technology, which allows for speedier mapping, Wi-Fi, and Ford Power Up software updates while you're driving. Additionally, the all-new optional trailer navigation determines the optimum real-time travel route depending on trailer size. Numerous improvements will be made to the 2023 F250 Super Duty's exterior, including a new front end that will resemble the brand new next generation 2023 Ford Ranger more. C-clamp headlamps and a split twin bar grille will give the front end a dynamic yet iconic built Ford tough appearance. There are two different tunes available. One version makes 475 horsepower and 1,050 pound-feet of torque, while the other, higher output version, makes 500 horsepower and 1,200 pound-feet of torque. Regardless of the choice selected, a 10-speed automatic transmission sends power to the rear wheels by default or 4WD if that is desired. Probability of enduring 250.000 miles, 43.6%. Honda Pilot. From the grill. To the tailgate. The three-row Honda Pilot SUV has undergone a complete redesign for the 2023 model year. The style of the new Pilot is more boxy and truck-like than before, giving it a more robust overall image. With either front or all-wheel drive, the basic engine is a 3.5-liter V6 with 285 horsepower and a 10-speed automated transmission. It is possible to configure the inside to accommodate 7 or 8 passengers. The XL trim adds leather seats, a motorized tailgate, a larger 9.0-inch touchscreen, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and these features. The 2023 Pilot has a new 10-speed automatic transmission in place of the previous model's 9-speed one, but the SUV is still front-wheel drive based. According to the EPA, the Pilot can achieve up to 19 miles per gallon in the city and 27 miles per gallon on the highway. The Pilot Trailsport is equipped with a specially tuned all-wheel drive system with a trail driving mode, steel skid plates, all-terrain tires, a hill descent control system, and a unique suspension with a 1.0-inch lift. Probability of enduring 250.000 miles, 42.7%. Which of these models would you prefer to purchase? Let me know in the comments if you would like part 2. Subscribe. Thanks for watching.